KCTV 5 is your school authority. We are following developing news that could have widespread implications for Missouri schools. The state's attorney general has filed suit against one school district over its mask mandate, saying kids do not need masks for protection. KCTV 5's Leslie Aguila spoke with the AG and doctors at Children's Mercy Hospital about this issue. So, Leslie, what are doctors saying about the lawsuit? Brad, doctors didn't really comment on this lawsuit specifically, but they did say that they fully support masking in schools. Right now, there are 16 children hospitalized with COVID-19 here at Children's Mercy Hospital. Five of them are in the ICU. Now, that is obviously a way lesser number than the number of adults hospitalized with COVID-19, but doctors say even one sick child is too many. Doctors say the science backs up the fact that masking works in preventing the spread of the virus. But the Missouri Attorney General says the science says otherwise. Eric Schmidt, who I'll remind you is running for U.S. Senate, told me he's following the facts in science, which says mask mandates do not stop the spread of COVID-19. He also states that young children are much less likely to contract or spread uh, or get severely ill from the virus. Now, his lawsuit points to studies from the UK, Germany, and other countries to support the idea that the virus is a low risk to children and that masks are harmful to them. Children's Mercy doctors refuted many of the claims made in that lawsuit, citing a mountain of data showing that masking does work in mitigating the spread of the virus. They agree that children are at a lower risk of severe infection than adults, but say you cannot know which child will be the unlucky one who does have to suffer. The hospital thinks masking is the best way to keep children in class, in person, where they need to be, instead of quarantining at home. There's been no widespread, widespread study to support the forced masking of our kids. And I don't want to live in some futuristic biomedical security state. Um, the risk factors are different for different age groups. If you're under the age of 25 and relatively healthy, there's about a one in a million chance you're going to die of COVID. We want to prevent disease, not just because we want to prevent hospitalizations, but we also want to prevent multi-system inflammatory syndrome, which we know happens in children. We also want to prevent long hauler COVID, which although it's pretty rare in kids, still happens. Now, Attorney General Schmitz told me that he thinks this is more about people in, in positions of power wanting to keep their power, wanting more power than it is about keeping children safe. When I told him what our local health leaders have to say, he responded that the CDC has politicized this issue and has eroded the trust in what he called public health bureaucrats. And he hopes his lawsuit goes to trial. Reporting live from Children's Mercy Hospital, Leslie Aguilar, KCTV 5 News.